Hey guys, Corey here on the Hip Kit Club YouTube channel with a new scrapbook process video for you. So today I'm actually just using the main kit except for a little bit of color from the color kit and then some past color kits, uh, but it's super faint so um, it's really anything that you could pull out of your stash so I didn't it's not like specific to the color kit. So anyhow, but I'm using just the main kit for in paper and embellishments and everything else. So the theme today is um, not only just to use the main kit, but also to use uh, hearts and rainbows. So this kit is just super perfect for that. Um, but I was sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, okay, how do I make a rainbow uh, with just the main kit? And of course, duh, the papers. Like, I don't know why that was so hard for me. Um, and I could have just used basically this paper um, or the one that actually has a rainbow on it, but um, it neither one of them was exactly what I was looking for. And so I decided to do it this way. So I'm just going through and I'm basically just getting strips of torn paper um, in the colors of the rainbow. Now it doesn't have all of them. I actually just went with red, uh, a yellowy orange green light blue dark blue and then I was able to add in some purplish kind of hearts at the end but you'll see that and um, the other colors it didn't seem to really matter like this is really gonna work out great so um, just go with it and see how it turns out so I've got my strips of paper and you know, I have a hard time with them just being like on white cardstock, even though I love white cardstock. It's my absolute favorite. Um, but just sitting there like that, I was like, okay, it needs something. So that's where I pulled in the color kit. Um, I'm going to use out of this month's color kit, the February kits, I'm using the green and the pink. Um, but then I pulled in a blue and a yellow from older hip kits. Now, I'm not overly concerned with it because you could just use like uh, watercolor paints if you had those that's pretty easy I mean even like the little kid thing from like Target or whatever it, like to do this background you don't need anything like super you know great or anything you could just use a very basic watercolor set um, or you could do it with acrylic paints if you wanted that instead um, it would just be a little bit darker of a look but you could mix it with white I don't know however you wanted to so that's why I was kind of like okay well, this is pretty easy so I'm just using the yellow the blue and the green and um, it worked out really well because I wasn't going to do like all the colors of the rainbow in behind this paper. And I actually, I feel like the yellow, the blue and the green worked out really well. And it's so light. Um, you can actually kind of see it here better than when you are looking at the finished paper or the finished project. Um, but it's just like a very subtle kind of background. And I really like the way that it turned out. So afterwards I did go ahead and add a little pink in and it's honestly just a little bit of um, splatters just at the top and the bottom to kind of tie all of the colors together. Um, so there you go. So once that was dry, because it of course needed a little bit of help, um, I just arranged my papers in the rainbow going down the center of the page. Now the orange one, because it was just a solid color, I did use a punch and punch some hearts out of it um, just to kind of give it a little bit more something than just being solid in the background. Um, because I knew I was going to put things on top of it and I didn't want them all to blend together. So um, I'm just going through the little... Uh, ephemera package that came with the main kit and I'm pulling out just a few different things. Um, this is a photograph of me and two of my girls and my husband. My oldest, she's on her own and she can't always travel with us anymore. So um, actually she rarely can. So uh, it's just the four of us. But we were of course at the beach and we were acting goofy and it is January and we were able to wear shorts. I didn't wear shorts because it's my legs are way too pasty right now to be wearing shorts like that is more of a springtime type of thing and technically we're still in winter so whatever that's total side note but um my husband and one of my girls is wearing shorts i love that that in january you can go to florida and you can wear shorts i mean like that is you know that is fantastic to me so anyhow but we're wearing crazy hawaiian shirts and that's all because we had friends with us and we were all acting kind of nutsos but you know what i got to thinking about with this photo is that where we go 
Hawaiian shirts is totally acceptable. It's not even looked upon as though it was weird. And that's what I love. It's not Hawaii, but we're wearing these Hawaiian shirts and it's just going to be totally normal. And actually it's such a funky area that we go to that it's like, I mean, nobody would even think twice about it. They would be like, oh, yeah, look at that great family in their Hawaiian shirts. I wish I had one. That's really probably how it would go. So um, I just thought that this was cool. It was kind of like, I felt like it was almost kind of symbolic of like the area itself. So, um, all right. So little side note there. But so anyhow, I did get use the puppy, puffy phrase stickers. Um, cute, bright. I used moment in green, yay in the dark blue, and I go back and I do add happy, so it's happy moment uh, later on. And then I use the blue puffy sticker, bu blue puffy letter stickers for the title, which is SGI Life. Um, and I just, you know, when I had done the strips of paper, I don't think I actually went through to see if I actually had like colors to match on those. Um, phrase stickers but oh my gosh like I was so excited when I pulled this out and I was able to match up all the colors of my rainbow with um the phrase stickers like that was super exciting for me like I, honestly I was doing this page and I had the idea of using the strips of paper for the rainbow but other than and then I figured I would just oh I would just put a bunch of hearts on it like and stuff which I do but um it I didn't realize how great like the ephemera and the phrase stickers and all that kind of stuff was going to work out like it just it was so perfect. I couldn't have even, had I planned it, it wouldn't have come out this cool, you know. So I did have to go in, find out what the date was on here, which was January the 4th. So I do go ahead and stamp that. Um, my albums are actually, well, my new albums, not the old ones. Those are all in storage. And I have those separated by child, uh, like the pages. But these ones, the ones that I've done since I've started back up, they're all in um like it's like a timeline basically. So it's, if I didn't date the page because it happened on a specific day, like I have it in there as to when I, you know, like where it falls kind of like, so it's not exact, but for the most part, it's all in chronological order, which is kind of fun. I had never done it that way before, but now I am like when I used to scrapbook a long time ago, like I did like just random pictures everywhere and I did a lot of the same picture over and over again I really need to go through my scrapbooks that's a whole other project for another day but um now I'm really trying to keep them kind of in um chronological order so you can kind of see it's almost kind of a journal like then actually of what we do in our life which I think is important so um whatever that's neither here nor there nor there so I'm just getting the last few little embellishments on here. I really like those little chipboard circle things that have things written on them. So we've got weekend vibes, remember this and relax. Um, and then one with just a pink heart. And then um, I thought I was done, but then I saw the little hearts that I had punched out and I was like, oh, I can add those on there too. So I do add a few of those. And then guys, this page is finished. Quick and simple and bright and fun. So here is the finished product and a few little details and guys remember i'm using the january 2020 hip kits for this for this project so make sure you go head over to the shop and pick yours up and otherwise thanks so much for watching have a great day bye